In our series on the financial fallout from the coronavirus, we're looking at how minority households and minority businesses are being affected, the most as the millions of Americans file for unemployment benefits. Listen to the numbers. 29% of white households lost a job, took a pay cut, or experienced both. Now, that number jumps to 36% of black households, black households, rather, and nearly half of Hispanic households. John Hope Bryant is the founder and CEO of Operation Hope. That's a nonprofit providing financial literacy and empowerment to underserved communities. He has advised three U.S. presidents and is currently working with the Trump administration. Good morning to you, John Hope Bryant. It's good to see you. Listen, I think all small My businesses pleasure. are really struggling at this time. Yeah, good to see you, John. All small businesses are struggling at this time, but what are you finding and what are you hearing from minority business owners in particular? Well, when Maine Schumacher has a headache, black and brown folks have pneumonia. We're all sick today. It sort of hurts a little bit more, maybe a lot more if you're a black business because you don't have the, uh, the infrastructure, the finance department, the accounting department, uh, the, the back room sophistication uh, because most of these businesses are very small, one to four employees, to be able to power through the paperwork and the constant changes of the program, as well as a, as well intentioned the, as the program is. So they need resources like Operation Hope to be that bridge, that catalyst, so they can get into the application pool to get this money. So what are you doing exactly? We're doing credit counseling. We're doing. We're helping the folks to qualify for the CARE Act. Um, we're helping businesses to qualify for the CARE Act, so please call us. The services are free. Uh, we're helping to, to consumers, people who are watching your program, to modify their mortgage, modify their small business loan, modify their, their, their uh, credit cards, to reset their life, negotiate with their landlord. You don't have an advocate right now. And what I keep saying is, you know, the color has changed, Gail. It used to be red and blue as in politics. Uh, it used to be black and white as in race. Now the color is green. Whether you're white, black, red, brown, or yellow, Today, you want to see some more green. We also want to see some environmental sustainability. But today, the color, the immediate color, is economic green. And everybody's got to get focused on that. You're not going to get as much money as you want. You're not going to get as quick as you like. You're not going to necessarily like the process. But the money on the other side is real. It's the first time in U.S. history the government's actually given you a check. And you don't, in many cases, you don't have to pay it back. So get in line. I'm telling everybody, go get your money. Stop complaining about the color of it or the size of it. Go get your money. The money is real on the other side. It's frustrating, but it's real on the other side. So how do they get the money? That's the question everybody's asking. How do you do that? I like what you said. Finances don't discriminate. It's not black or white. It's the color is green. And we're all in this together, I've heard you say. So how do you get the money? Yeah, unfortunately, we didn't get the memo on money. Uh, and unfortunately, we're in the middle of a crisis trying to figure it out. No one got a financial literacy lesson. There's no, not, there's no time now to give you a lecture about it. It's time for you to get in line. So the, what you have to do is you got to find an SBA-approved lender. You do not have to have an account with them. Every bank's criteria is the same. Go find a small bank. Not everybody should be going to big banks. Go find a small bank or credit union that's a, or a CDFI or a fintech firm on, online that's approved with the SBA. Get in the shortest line possible. The smallest, most discreet institution that's approved, that has a, the lowest level of applications in their pipeline, that's where you want to go. And if you're confused, call us at Operation Hope because our services are free. We're just your advocate. We're like the, we're like the Starbucks of financial inclusion. But again, the color today is green, and, and you're never going to get a check like this from the federal government for free ever again. If, you, if you're a nonprofit, you get a check. If you're a church, you get a check. If you're a small business, you get a check. Everybody will get at least $10,000, but you've got to apply. And you've got to do it now because they're running out every day. Essentially, Gail, they stood up the 10th largest bank in America in 15 days. Of course, it's going to be a crap show. Okay, Of course, it's going to be ready, fire, aim. Nothing's going to work well, and every process is going to be broken. But what do we expect? We, just, we can complain about it later. At the moment, go get your green and call us if you have problems. We'll help you. You know, your, your, your organization is called Operation Hope, and no pun intended, because you do see hope and you do see inspiration despite this time. What is yeah. that, John? Well, it's all the stuff we're not doing, Gail. I mean, uh, think about this. Uh, we have frustrations in our governments and all that kind of stuff going on, and we can't agree on much. But there's no rioting. There's no looting. People are being kind to each other. People are building bridges to each other. 
They're, 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 they're loving each other. They're being gracious. Corporations and leaders are doing incredible things with their own wealth. Uh, employers are being incredibly compassionate. But the thing that everybody's doing, your viewers are doing, is being kind and loving to each other. That's the American spirit. That is a role model for the world. Listen, listen. no rioting or looting. Crime is actually down. Even the criminals are like, shoot, I, I yeah. there ain't no time for this. <laughs> I mean, everybody's getting the memo. This is yeah, time for yes, us to come yeah. together. And, and that's really important so, for so our John, spirit. It's so important for the spirit when at times it can seem spiritually and emotionally draining. So what do you think we can learn from this America's lesson about her strength and her weaknesses at this particular time and what we need? Well, we're resilient people, Gail, up from nothing. Uh, and, uh, and rainbows only follow storms. That's a scientific fact. Uh, you cannot have a rainbow without a storm first. I think this is a reset. We, we didn't learn the lesson. I guess God was like, look, I tried to tell you about wealth and income inequality. You didn't listen. I tried to tell you that politics should be co collaborative and cooperative and, and compassionate. We didn't listen. I tried to tell you that racism is stupid. We're welcome the, from the same DNA. You didn't listen. But worst of all, we didn't sustain our small planet. And I think that God didn't send us a reboot. He didn't kill us, but he sent us a reset to get us our attention. Everybody's attention right. at the same time, Gail. Billionaires, millionaires, and yes. folks trying to buy some air. <laughs> All got the memo at the same time. And that's yes. the lesson for us. Better yes. on the other side. You're right. You're right. We are all paying attention with both ears and both eyes. Thank you, John Hope Bryant, for taking the time this morning. We really appreciate it.